The U.S. has reportedly identified locations in Iran from which drones and cruise missiles were launched against major Saudi oil facilities on Saturday. Senior U.S. officials told media outlets that the locations were in southern Iran, at the northern end of the Gulf. Saudi air defenses did not stop the drones and missiles because they were pointed southwards, to prevent attacks from Yemen, they added. Iran denies involvement in the attacks, which disrupted global oil supplies. Yemen's Iran aligned how the rebels said they had launched the drones that struck the Abqaiq oil processing plant, the world's largest, and the Karai oil field. They have launched attacks into Saudi Arabia before, but U.S. officials said on Sunday they believed the drones and missiles did not originate from the south or southwest, and instead were launched from the north or northwest. Iranian President Hassan Rouhani has called the attack a reciprocal act by the Yemeni people. Oil prices soared 20% after the attacks, at one point reaching $71.95 a barrel. But they have since paired their gains as it appeared market disruption would not be as bad as feared. On Tuesday, Saudi Arabia's energy minister said he expected production to be fully back online by the end of the month, adding that half the production at the damaged facilities had already been restored. Brent crude, the international benchmark used by traders, was trading at about $64.51 pounds and 20 pence after the announcement. A senior U.S. official told CBS News that a U.S. team had been on the ground at Abqaiq and identified specific drones and missiles used in the attacks. This wreckage will be analyzed and used to present a very compelling forensic case that Iran was responsible, the report says. Vice President Mike Pence said on Tuesday the U.S. was evaluating all the evidence and that Secretary of State Mike Pompeo was en route to Saudi Arabia to discuss our response. He added, the United States of America will take whatever action is necessary to defend our country, our troops, and our allies in the Gulf. You can count on it. Iranian Foreign Minister Javad Zarif tweeted that, Yemeni victims, were responsible for the attacks, saying that blaming Iran would not change the situation and saying the US was, in denial. Ending the war was the only solution for all, he added. And in a televised address, Iran's Supreme Leader Ayatollah Ali Khamenei dismissed talks, at any level, with the U.S., saying any dialogue could only happen if the U.S. takes back its words and repents, after withdrawing from the Iran nuclear deal. Earlier this year, President Trump unilaterally pulled the U.S. out of the landmark agreement that had limited Iran's nuclear program in exchange for the lifting of economic sanctions. The president told reporters on Tuesday he was not ruling out meeting Mr. Rouhani at UN, as has been previously suggested, but added that he would prefer not meeting him. He also said he would be willing to use the US strategic oil reserves if need be. I don't believe I need to, but if we want to use strategic oil reserves, I would open them up, he said.